I normally choose to make videos about topics that I know will get a lot of views, but today's a little different. I recently bought a new bike as my old one was getting too small for me. Thanks puberty! Anyway, spec wise they're quite similar aside from one key area, the suspension. Where my old bike had a $500 fork and $300 shock, this new bike has a $1,300 fork and a $500 shock. It feels amazing, but it didn't always feel that way. The morning after I bought it second hand, the shock was making this noise. I'd let you know that it definitely wasn't making that noise when I test rode it, so I messaged to the seller only for him to reply, Rear shock has always made that sound. Still, I googled it only for some people in the comment section to say that the shock needs a service. I didn't want to pay over $200 just for the shock to not make that sound, so I just dealt with it. Quickly, I noticed that the three position lockout did nothing, and I was slowly thinking I should probably get it checked out. It was only when I started adjusting my suspension when I discovered the solution. In reality, the shock has two different air chambers, one of which is your standard air chamber, which all shocks have, but there's another one which is only found on DBO suspension, known as bladder pressure, located in the reservoir of the rear shock. The purpose is to separate the air from the oil. The bladder is filled with high PSI to push back against the oil, which creates pressure into the system. As the shock is compressed, oil flows through the system and starts to compress the bladder. I may have copied this straight from DBO's website, but I don't think they'll mind, I hope. Anyway, all you really need to know is that the bladder pressure should be in between 170 and 200 psi. The guy that I bought it from had a whopping 0 psi in the shock, making the oil flow freely in and out of the bladder, creating that lovely noise. The pressure also creates resistance when the lockout is engaged, making the suspension firm. You may notice that some pressure is lost each time you check the bladder. This happens because the tube of the shock must be filled with air before the gauge of the pump receives the pressure. Every other time you check the pressure in anything else, like tyre pressure, this also happens. However, it's less noticeable as the tyre has a bigger volume than the bladder on your shock. Lastly, if the fork's making a harsh bottom out noise, make sure that the low speed compression isn't turned past one. I'm not sure why, but the fork obviously doesn't like it. So that's it for this week's video. If you enjoyed it, please make sure to do what every other YouTuber tells you to do. Thanks, guys. Yeah, I think